Here's your KNDY updated weatherology forecast for northeast Kansas and southeast Nebraska. I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Chance of thunderstorms this afternoon. Otherwise, mainly cloudy skies expected. High temperatures reach up to 91. West winds 8 to 15 miles per hour. Lows dip down to about 62. Tonight, chance of thunderstorms. I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Currently 88. Mid-America Network News. A man is facing charges after allegedly shooting at two people after a vehicle became stuck in a ditch near Plevna over the weekend. In Reno County, around 7.45 p.m. on Saturday, a man reported that his daughter was following him home from working in a field when her vehicle got stuck. A man who lives nearby, Thomas Morrison, allegedly fired four shots from a 22 caliber revolver directly towards the man and his daughter, as well as another two shots from a long rifle. Morrison was taken into custody and faces attempted first-degree homicide, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and aggravated child endangerment charges. An oil well blowout in Barber County caused travel problems and power outages around Kiowa and Hardner yesterday. Kansas Highway 2 west of Kiowa had to be shut down for a time, and a temporary bypass line was constructed. Power has been restored. I'm Stephanie Austin. Midwest Kia will be open to serve you July 4th. This week, only July 1st through the 6th. And while supplies last, drive off in style with a free pair of Oakley sunglasses during our Kia Summer Sticker Sales event. That's right. No matter which new Kia you purchase, you'll drive off the lot in style with a free pair of Oakley sunglasses. Take advantage of interest rates as low as 0% APR on our EV models and 1.9% APR on all new Kias on our lot. Or save up to 10000 off MSRP on the North American SUV of the year, the Kia EV9. Every new Kia comes with our 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warning. Celebrate this 4th of July with explosive savings. Purchase a new vehicle this week and enjoy a free pair of Oakley sunglasses during our Kia Summer Sticker Sales Event. Free Oakleys plus a simple, transparent, and fast, better way to buy your next vehicle. Visit Midwest Kia on 4th of July or MidwestKia.com. And remember, we want to see you. $21.65 per thousand finance. See you for details. A 25-year-old man has been sentenced to almost two and a half years in prison for killing a Sedgwick County canine officer. Kaylin Kirkwood was sentenced to 29 months for battery of a law enforcement officer and 12 months in jail for harming or killing a dog. Officers were chasing Kirkwood in November of 2023 when Kirkwood tried to hide in a storm drain and the canine officer Bain was sent in after Kirkwood. Police said that Kirkwood strangled the dog. Galena police arrested a man after a chase that ended with him trying to use bodily fluids on officers. Police were called to a physical altercation Sunday evening when they arrived. The suspect, identified as 45-year-old Raymond L. Williams, ran away. Williams had tried to break into three homes and stole a bicycle from a woman who was riding by. When officers caught up to Williams, he continued to resist arrest, spitting at officers and attempting to smear blood and other bodily fluids on them while making threats to everyone on the scene. Duzine Enterprises has been laying floors all over our area since 1962. That's miles and miles of carpet, laminate, tile, hardwood, and vinyl. And they are so good at it that their schedule is filling up fast. So while good things come to those who wait, if you have a remodel or a new construction project in your near future, you should probably get on their schedule today. So call 785-325-2379. That's 785-325-2379. Duzine Enterprises in Washington. Why would you go anywhere else? Financing available. Nebraska Mid American Network News and Felix Johnson. Leader Kranz is hosting their summer fest this weekend, a German celebration for the longest day of the year, marking the beginning of the summer. Board President Ryan Rosendahl says that the organization is always looking for new younger members. To continue this on, you know, to make it last another 50 years. 100 years, 150 years, hopefully, you know, it takes getting some some young blood interested, you know, to, to start to take the reins so that, that it can go on through, uh, you know, the next generation. In other news, the first three brewing company welcomed in fans of the Omaha Supernovas as the franchise made a Pro Volleyball Federation trophy tour stop in Hastings. Here's what Supernovas Director of Corporate Partnerships Murphy Maurer had to say. It's pretty 
well-known fact around the office that uh, I am from the Tri-Cities, I'm from Hastings. One of my coworkers came up to me and said, hey Murphy, do you know anywhere in the Tri-Cities where we can get this trophy out there? And I said, I know the place. Rusty Eckboard is offering you freedom from down payments and no monthly car payments all summer long. Celebrate your independence by breaking free from monthly payments for up to 90 days. Rusty Eckboard has exclusive deals on over 200 new Fords with rates as low as 0% APR or 2023 Ford Escape Plug-in Hybrid 0% APR for 60 months or 2023 Mach-E 0% APR for 72 months or get a 2023 Ford F-150 1.9% APR for 72 months months. Don't miss out on these star-spangled savings with no payments this summer. Take advantage of freedom from down payments and independence from monthly payments for up to 90 days. Visit Rusty at Ford or Rusty at Ford.com today. Absolutely unbeatable. Escape 1667 for thousand finance. Mach-E 1389 for thousand finance. F-150 1471 for thousand finance. Plus taxes and fees. Offers can be with approved credit. Plus finance with Ford Motor Credit. Reporting local news, I'm Bruce Deerking. Marshall County Commissioners voted unanimously at last week's meeting to move forward with the renewal question for a half cent countywide sales tax for community memorial health care on the November ballot, which was initially passed by voters five years ago. Representatives of CMH in their request said that they feel it's still necessary. Commissioners noted comments they've heard regarding the hospital and transparency with John Unger suggesting a commissioner be added to the hospital board, and Fritz Blasky said that CMH should tell the community how proceeds are a benefit. They did acknowledge the importance of having a hospital in moving forward with the request, which will be on the November ballot. The sales tax generated well over $1.2 million in 2023, offsetting reported expenses of over $1.5 million in uncompensated care with patient billing at $42.5 million in 2023. Commissioners sent comments in opposition to a proposed five-mile transmission corridor, which is a consideration of federal officials. The matter was raised after a comment period was closing in late June, and concerns were raised with little or no notification of local residents who could be affected. State Representative Lisa Mosier and State Senator Elaine Bowers also spoke recently with area county officials with regard to their positions, noting the potential impact on residents, agriculture, and landowners. A legal team is set to interview county appraiser Francine Cromie, who remains on paid suspension to investigate matters of professional conduct and performance in the work culture. The issue was raised June 17th with a special meeting held June 20th and suspension will remain in effect until the investigation is complete. A jury trial has been requested in a civil lawsuit filed by Marshall County against Farmers Cooperative, seeking nearly $630,000 from an October incident last year when a fertilizer applicator fell through a three-ton bridge over the Black Vermilion River on Tumbleweed Road and was destroyed. Carelessness and negligence are alleged in the filing for the cost of replacing the structure. Washington County has received a $15,000 grant for the Rural Opportunity Zone program through the Kansas Department of Commerce to be used to promote the program and help market the county as a place to relocate. Balance of American Rescue Plan funds were discussed at last week's meeting with the local fire departments to receive $5,000. Consideration of a new fire escape for the courthouse was discussed with an earlier estimate at $210,000. Nemaha County Commissioners heard a request from the Sheriff for a nearly 10% increase in the budget from $2.22 million and an additional $80,000 for the current year's budget to be used for a pay scale increase beginning late July as an incentive to attract employees. That increase is also reflected in next year's budget request. The county attorney was present and discussed a proposed resolution regarding abandoned vehicles in Nemaha County, which was approved unanimously later in the meeting after modification. Gage County Board of Supervisors last week unanimously approved a recommendation by the highway superintendent and county engineer to move forward with a $775,000 bid for the East Pickerel Culvert Project, replacing a bridge which has been closed. This week, a helicopter towing a large hoop from a cable will be making low-level flights in parts of Gage, Jefferson, and Saline counties 
as part of a geological and aquifer mapping study, flying as low as 1 to 200 feet above ground level. And over days of 49, parade theme is favorite American patriot or event, with parades Friday at 6.30, Saturday at 5.30. All entries are welcome, cash prizes. For information or details, contact Jay Holly, Bruce Wheeling, or Clint Holly. Eldon L. Bud White, age 93, of Blue Springs, passed away Thursday. Funeral service Wednesday, 1030, at the Harmon Wright Mortuary in Beatrice. Interment in the Highland Center Cemetery, rural Cortland. Family will greet friends Tuesday from 6 until 8 p.m. at the Harmon Wright Mortuary in Beatrice in charge of arrangements for Bud White. United Bank and Trust has been fulfilling the banking needs of families and businesses in Northeast Kansas for decades. United Bank and Trust is always advancing and is excited to introduce a new and improved mobile banking app for your smartphone. Simply search UBT Mobile in the App Store and download. It's a mobile fast world and so is United Bank and Trust. The bank for your future. United Bank and Trust. Banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Here's your KNDY weatherology forecast for northeast Kansas and southeast Nebraska. Showers and thunderstorms are likely today, otherwise partly sunny with our highs in the lower 80s and lower 100s. Some scattered showers may continue overnight, partly cloudy with our lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. There will be a slight chance for some rain showers into Wednesday, otherwise sunny with our highs in the mid to upper 80s. Then scattered showers and thunderstorms may continue into Wednesday night, partly cloudy with our lows in the lower to mid 60s. Showers and thunderstorms may continue into Thursday, otherwise partly sunny with our highs in the upper 70s and mid 80s. Then showers may continue early Thursday night, partly cloudy with our lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Staying sunny throughout Friday with our highs in the lower to upper 80s. Then mostly clear skies throughout Friday night with our lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. More sunshine throughout the day on Saturday with our highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s. And a slight chance for some scattered showers throughout Saturday night, otherwise mostly clear with our lows in the lower to mid 60s. Scattered showers on a Sunday, sunny with our highs in the mid-80s and mid-90s throughout the region. I'm meteorologist Kara Foster. Average high temperature, early July, 90. Record high on this date, 108. The average low, 68. The record low, 49. Sunset this evening, 857. Sunrise in the morning at 605. Widespread inch of rain before it was all said and done Monday. Two inches or more at some locations. Can thunderstorms really cause milk to go sour? We will investigate on a truth or tall tale edition of the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report. If you're a farmer or rancher, chances are you've thought about joining Kansas Farm Bureau. So what's stopping you? Your membership means you have a seat at the table when it comes to the issues that affect your farm. Things like trade, taxes, water, and regulations. The state's largest farm advocacy organization brings your message to policy decision makers at the county, state, and national level. The voice of agriculture becomes your voice and fights for Kansas farmers and ranchers. And a Kansas Farm Bureau membership includes other benefits. For about $50 a year, you'll receive discounts on equipment and supplies, cell phone plans, financial and legal support, home and office supplies, and more. You'll also receive Kansas Living, a quarterly lifestyle magazine featuring real stories of farmers and producers around the state, plus great recipes, crafts, and things to see and do in Kansas. Join us today. Visit kfb.org slash farmer rancher to learn more. With more practical tips and useful advice, this is the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report for Tuesday, July 2nd, the 184th day of the year. Comedian Larry David has a birthday, and the first Walmart store opened in Arkansas on this day in 1962. There's an old adage that says thunderstorms can cause milk to go sour. Implausible folklore? We've heard enough accounts from dairy farmers to believe something is going on. But the connection has never been scientifically proven. Experiments that have run electricity through milk have found no effect. Some theories say it's merely the warm human conditions which spawn thunderstorms that hasten spoilage, while others believe it's caused by ozone or bacteria carried by rainfall. It is still very much an unsolved scientific mystery. After the next July thunderstorm, though, better check your milk. That is the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report. Learn more at almanac.com. At Reflections in downtown Marysville, Christmas comes twice a year. From July 13th until the 21st, stop in for the yearly Hallmark Keepsake Ornament premiere. Find over 250 all-new ornaments. Pick up your pre-ordered ornaments or simply start the holiday shopping. 
Receive a free ornament when you purchase a keepsake ornament and rack up holiday bonus points all week long. Shop Reflections in downtown Marysville. So much more than your favorite Hallmark store. During Hallmark's keepsake ornament premiere, July 13th through the 21st. A heat advisory in effect until 8 p.m. this evening. An active pattern keeps storms in the forecast through Independence Day Thursday with a risk for severe storms each day. Given the humid air in place and recent heavy rainfall, any thunderstorm activity will have a potential for very heavy rain and localized flooding. Afternoon heat indices could top the century mark as high as 110 degrees. Shift outdoor activity to the later evening hours. Take frequent breaks in air conditioning and drink plenty of water. 60 to 90 percent chance for thunderstorms along a front in northeast Kansas by late afternoon. Moving generally to the east-northeast, damaging winds and torrential rainfall are the greatest concerns. Again, be advised, heat advisory through 8 p.m. this evening with a potential for thunderstorm development Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday this week. Citizen State Bank's Blue Valley Insurance Agency's Landall Company and Sap Brothers Petroleum invite you to the Days of 49 in Hanover. Celebrate the Independence Weekend. The fun starts Thursday with Landall Night on the Midway, sponsoring free carnival rides 6 until 10 p.m. Entertainments each evening. Don't miss parades Friday and Saturday nights. Plus the beer garden and concessions available at the Hanover Days of 49. An invitation from the Citizen State Banks, Hanover, Marysville, and Waterville. Better products, better service, better banking. Blue Valley Insurance Agencies, including Hanover Insurance. Full-line coverage, representing multiple agencies. Landall Company, a proud part of a proud community since 1962. Our roots are in the Hanover community. And Sap Brothers Petroleum, fuel and lubricants distributor, plus propane delivery. Sap Brothers Petroleum, inviting you to the Days of 49 in Hanover. Kansas Mid-American Network Sports. I'm Andy Hoosier. It was a big four-game series for the Kansas City Royals at home at Kauffman Stadium over the weekend as the Royals went three for four against the Cleveland Guardians, sitting atop the league. As game number four wrapped up with Royals beating the Guardians at six to two on Sunday, starting off strong, putting a score in per inning for the first couple innings, two more in the fifth inning and two more in the seventh inning in holding the Guardians to two points only coming in by the eighth inning of the game. It does help close the gap a little bit in the American League Central as the Royals are tied in the second place against Minnesota Twins at a 47 to 39 record. The Guardians now at 52 and 30, so only about a five game difference between the two teams. Kansas City continues Continues to stay at Kauffman Stadium as their next series starts off with the Tampa Bay Rays with first pitch today at 7:10 before heading on the road to Colorado to take on the Rockies starting on Friday. Kansas Mid American Network Sports. I'm Andy Hoosier. Don't search for a job alone. Kansas Works can help. Your local workforce center is staffed with friendly professionals who've helped thousands of Kansans just like you. Whether you're writing a resume, making a career change, or just aren't sure where to start, Kansas Works has the resources needed to build a quality career. Getting help is easy, and it doesn't cost a thing. Just visit kansasworks.com to find a workforce center near you. And that's how Kansas works. Sponsored by the Kansas Department of Commerce and aired in cooperation with the Kansas Association of Broadcasters and this station. Roll into 2024 on a winning streak at First Council Casino and Resort. Plan your getaway for the greatest concerts, events, and gaming all under one roof. More than 30 acts are booked for 2024. Our indoor water park is a hit for the entire family to relax and unwind. Play with your Seven Clans rewards card and find out why we have the most loyal players. Pile up the points and earn one-of-a-kind VIP experiences, free play, and cash. And yeah, about the cash. Seven Clans paid more than $50 million in jackpots in 2023. It's all right here at Seven Clans First Council Casino and Resort. We're the Winners play Highway 77 in Newkirk. The Kansas State Wildcats volleyball team says they're gearing up for the fall semester and the upcoming season as one of the latest transfers from Kentucky, Jordan Williams, says she's excited to get settled in into the Midwest here after coming from Pepperdine and says she's excited to play for the Wildcats. A lot of people tell me that they think I'm from the Midwest when they meet me in California just because I'm like a smiley person and um, get along with most people. So it's been really fun to like surround myself with everyone and they're just so kind here. So I've been really loving it. 
That audio from KSN Team News. Head coach for the volleyball team for the Wildcats, Jason Mansfield, says that she's going to be an intricate player going into the upcoming season. She's somebody that has a chance to be a Leah's counterpart, you know, and we have Anaya and we have Brenna and we have these these uh, these attackers that are that are pretty special. But to have somebody that has four years of experience, you know, in a different conference, but playing at elite level NCAA tournament every year, you know, she's she adds some some things to our team that we just don't have. Good American Network Sports. Outstanding capacity, innovation, and the industry's highest density come together in a New Holland Roll Belt Round Baler, available from Can Equip in Marysville. Whether you make 4 by 5 foot, 4 by 6 foot, or 5 by 6 foot bales, there's a roll belt right for you. All models feature wide, durable pickups and smooth feeding systems for faster baling. Integrated precision solutions help you make smart baling decisions on the go. Stop by Can Equip in Marysville. Have you ever wondered what sets Sunflower Community Credit Union apart from the rest? It's the power of ownership. When you join Sunflower Community Credit Union, you're not just a customer. You're a member and an owner. Sunflower Community Credit Union is a member-owned, nonprofit financial institution that places our members' needs as our top priority. We're here to help you grow your savings, manage your finances, and achieve your dreams. Visit Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville, where ownership matters. When starting any project around your home, you want prices that are reasonable and advice you can trust. From finding the right lighting fixture or plumbing piece to drawing up plans for a full remodel or new build, the knowledgeable staff at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber are here for you. Stop in Monday through Saturday or visit AxelLumber.com to see what they can offer. With all your building needs and options to fix any budget, your partner from start to finish is Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber. Brighten those shady spots in the summer landscape with Bottle Brush Buckeye. This summer bloomer produces showy spikes of white flowers you and the butterflies will enjoy. Hi, I'm Melinda Myers, horticulturist and gardening expert. Bottle Brush Buckeye grows 8 to 12 feet tall and up to 15 feet wide. It's hardy throughout zones 4 to 8 and even 9 with sufficient shade. Grow it as a specimen in shrub beds, mixed borders, and woodland gardens. The large green leaves are attractive throughout the summer and turn yellow in the fall. Plant bottle brush buckeyes in moist, well-drained soil and full to partial shade for best results. It will tolerate wet soil and drier conditions once established, making it suitable for rain gardens. Its suckering nature makes it a great screen and erosion control plant. Plus, rabbits and deer tend to leave it be. Check out our website for this and other gardening tips. When most people think of big-time gambling, they think of Las Vegas. No doubt there was plenty of illegal gaming taking place in the state for decades, but you might be surprised to learn the state made it legal in 1931, and it was a rancher who didn't much care for betting that found the industry might just be a winner for Nevada. The story is this edition of the American Countryside. I'm Tyne Morgan, host of U.S. Farm Report, the only weekend television show that features some of agriculture's biggest names. From custom commentary from John Phipps to the stories of antique iron with Machinery Pete to a list of more than 30 marketing analysts, our weekly program focuses on the topics that matter most to you. We invite you to join us each weekend for U.S. Farm Report, timely, trusted tradition. Hi, I'm Ag Day host Clinton Griffiths, and I invite you to join me each morning as we cover the nation's food system, from fields of green to orchards of orange and livestock everywhere in between. America runs on agriculture, and here at Ag Day, agriculture is what we do best. Listen as our analysts track the markets, learn about innovations in technology and sustainability, and live the country lifestyle through the eyes of rural America. Join me, Clinton Griffiths, for Ag Day, the country experience. The state of Nevada has long been known for gambling, but where did legalized gaming get its start? Most point to a rancher from the northern part of the state. Phil Tobin is known as the father of legalized gambling. He lived here in Winnemucca as a boy. And as Dana Toth explains, young Phil grew to become a rancher and hold one other important title. He got elected and then he introduced the bill that officially made uh, gambling legal in Nevada. Phil was just 29 years old when he began serving in the state legislature. While Tobin wasn't necessarily a supporter of gambling, he knew there was already gaming taking place in Las Vegas and many other towns, and legalizing the industry would help the state secure an income stream that would help it in the future. Tobin's bill passed and was signed into law in 1931. 
No doubt Tobin had seen gambling going on well before that even here in his hometown. Gambling in Winnemucca has been something that probably happened from day one. It was promoted in the newspapers for advertisements. There were all sorts of affiliated businesses that went with it. But Dana says the gambling wasn't open to all. It wasn't until about the late 1930s that women were even allowed to walk through gambling halls and bars here in Winnemucca, and there was no dancing in city limits either. But women did get inside perhaps through a back door or another means, but that could still result in trouble. We have records of some of the gambling hall keepers and the bartenders being arrested for serving women. Today, the state remains noted for gambling, most notably in Las Vegas. But the legalized version all began with this man, a 29-year-old rancher who didn't much care to roll the dice, yet was willing to introduce a bill that bet on gambling to put the state ahead of others. Traveling the countryside in Winnemucca, Nevada, I'm Andrew McRae. Many species of wildlife nest and raise their young in hay fields during prime hay cutting time. Hi, I'm Jody Henke. Have your hay and keep the critters safe too as you're living the country life. Living the country life. Ideas and inspiration for your place in the country. You can find more information on today's topic and from previous shows by visiting us online at livingthecountrylife.com. We'll return to the show after these messages. Farming presents the 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast. In each episode, a successful farming editor has a quick conversation with a farmer, chock full of stories and advice from their area of agriculture. They're interesting, educational, and perfect for your busy schedule. Search for 15 Minutes with a Farmer wherever you download your podcasts. We could try to explain what it feels like to get your work done on a John Deere. The way a Z-Track mower finishes in half the time you thought it would. Or how much easier it is to move mountains of soil with a 1 Series tractor. We could even go into detail about how it feels to tow up to 4,000 pounds behind a Gator XUV. But if you really want to know what it's like to run with us, you just have to get in the seat. Learn more at johndeere.com slash get in the seat or visit a dealer near you. In many parts of the country, hay harvesting happens simultaneously with wildlife nesting and brooding in the hay field. This creates a conflict with grassland birds, rabbits, deer, and other animals trying to raise their young. Pat Kaiser is the director of the Center for Native Grasslands Management at the University of Tennessee. If you're out cutting hay during this time, he recommends moving slowly and looking ahead. Use a flushing bar on your machinery to nudge wildlife out of harm's way and alter the cutting pattern. We have a tendency to start around the edges and work to the middle. And for some critters, you know, rabbits and deer, the fawns, it's problematic. But if we are able to, depending on how the hay field lays, start maybe more toward the middle and work our way out, that gives the wildlife a chance to flush and get to some cover. Cool season grasses such as fescue, orchard grass, timothy, and brome are at their prime for hay harvest right in the middle of nesting season. He says an alternative is to grow native warm season grasses as a hay production tool. Things like big blue stem and Indian grass don't need to be harvested for hay until after the peak of the nesting season. So what we found is those later cutting dates have a lot less impact on nest success because so many of the nests are already off and we still wind up getting good quality hay and not having to compromise. And in fact, some of those warm season species actually produce more hay per acre than our cool season species. If you have several fields to harvest, save the fields closest to wetlands and CRP acreage for last because they will likely have a higher nesting density. Learn more about balancing the hay harvest with wildlife at livingthecountrylife.com. I'll see you in the country. Living the Country Life. Ideas and inspiration for your place in the country. You can find more information on today's topic, share your tips, and post photos by visiting us online at livingthecountrylife.com. There are plenty of things you can do for extra income, and some you shouldn't. Hi, I'm Rob West with today's Faith and Finance Minute. Just because something is legal doesn't mean it's right. 
For example, some companies are offering to buy your good credit history. They'll add up to 20 complete strangers as authorized users to your credit card for $50 to $300 each. They can't use your card, but your favorable credit history goes on their report, a benefit they haven't earned. The Bible is clear that we must practice total honesty. 2 Timothy 2 says, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, rightly handling the word of truth. When looking for extra income, always ask, will this glorify God? If not, keep looking. Get biblical answers to your financial questions in the FaithFi community. Download FaithFi, Faith and Finance in your app store or visit faithfi.com. This 4th of July, Western National Bank hopes everyone will take the time to reflect on the history of America and remember the sacrifices of the brave men and women who fought for this country's independence. From Western National Bank, with locations in Chester and Cairo, Nebraska, and Summerfield, Kansas, member FDIC. Lachlan Hovitt Funeral Home honors all the men and women through the years who served in the United States military. It is because of these brave individuals that America is still the land of the free. Happy Independence Day from Lachlan Hovitt Funeral Home at 505 North 9th Street, serving Wymore with dignity. The science of making meat more enjoyable, today on Farm to Fork. If you're ready to try a highly effective microbial soil inoculant, then Rhizol from ProGrow Bio should be your first choice. Rhizol offers multiple benefits like enhanced biomass, bigger yields, and improved soil health. 100% organic and works with conventional or organic crops and comes in a soluble dry form for easy handling and long shelf life. Search the web for R-H-I-Z-O-L from ProGrow Bio. Hey there, it's Mike Rowe, and if you're out there getting dirty, do me a favor and remember to call or click 811 before you dig. And when I say dig, I refer to any activity requiring boring, tilling, drilling, probing, reaming, plowing, drudging, or even scoping. Anything that causes you to roll up your sleeves a little and dig in requires you to first connect with 811 so that you can avoid all those buried pipes, wires, and cables underground. To sum up, call or click 811 before you dig and visit safeexcavator.com for more information. The summer barbecue season is underway, and I'm not talking just about the hot weather. One person whose mission is for you to have a better grilling experience is Kelly Varick, an animal science researcher at the University of Arkansas. I always joke that it's my job to make steaks taste bad or steaks taste good, and we try to figure out why. Varick says meat shoppers likely have no idea that meat science is a thing. When it comes to meat science research, it's one of those things that people don't think about because they're going around the grocery store, they're just going to pick up their meat products. They don't think about meat science until something goes wrong. Varick shares the answer to a question we've all thought about when it comes to purchasing fresh meats. When beef turns from that bright cherry red color that everybody expects to see in the retail case and it starts to turn brown, maybe a dark red color, people don't like it as much. And so it's not necessarily going bad. There's a reaction called oxidation that's causing that change in color. What we're trying to do is help reduce that food waste by improving that color stability of that muscle. There's a short online video of Kelly Varick explaining her work. You'll find a link to it on the show info page at NorthShoreProductions.com. And thanks to University of Arkansas video producer Payton Johnson for his assistance. That's Farm to Fork. I'm Daryl Anderson. Along with several new 2024 Chevy Silverado pickups, the Nordisk Motor Company in Marysville has a new 2024 Chevy Blazer, the premier package. They have a new 24 Chevy Equinox and a new 24 Chevy Trax, new priced under $26,000 at the Norris Motor Company in Marysville. Good Tuesday. Sam's back with your latest harvest update here on the Mid-America Ag Network. And your 2024 summer harvest reports are brought to you by Midwest Ag Professionals. Don't gamble with your crops. Get crop insurance today by calling 620-357-6390. We will start down in the Lone Star State as Texas wheat harvest is making great strides this week, especially in the Panhandle region with higher temperatures and windy days. Most farmers in the area are reporting above average yields, but there is some variability in the crop. The five-year average so far for the Texas wheat harvest is at 72%, but as of the last report, the 
Texas Wheat Commission is calling it 78% complete for the state. Now, in Oklahoma, wheat harvest is pretty well wrapped up in all areas of the state, except for the panhandle. They've had some challenges getting irrigated wheat crop as they've had more rains over the last weekend. It is thought about 40% of the crop in the region remains to be harvested. Currently, throughout the state, they're ranging at about 56 to 64 pounds per bushel with a lighter test weight in the panhandle. Statewide averages for test weights averaging 60 to 61. Proteins from 9 to 13.5%, and yields being reported at about 40 to 50 bushels per acre. The Oklahoma Wheat Commission is calling the state 98% complete with harvest. In Kansas now, combines keep rolling across western Kansas, albeit getting a late start on Monday due to lingering moisture from rain over the weekend. Better than expected final yields can mean one of two things for those western producers, either that they're actually cutting fields they expected to get zero out of due to drought or they're sealing yields above last year, the county average. Officially, the Kansas wheat harvest is at 81% complete, well ahead of 39% complete last year and the 49% average. In a recent report with Kansas wheat, we look out to Ness County and got what they're looking at in that neck of the woods. Wheat harvest is nearly complete in Ness County, according to Gary Gantz, president of DE Bondurant Grain Co. in Ness City. Still, Gantz said most folks are happy with how things are shaken out. With average yields at about 30 bushels per acre, adequate test weights from 57 to 60 pounds per bushel, and a strong average protein at 12%. Your latest 2024 summer harvest update right here on the Mid-America Ag Network is brought to you by PNB Insurance, where crop insurance is our only business. It's a beautiful day and your crops look better than they have in years. It's amazing what one hell cloud can do. Don't gamble with your crops and call Midwest Ag Professionals Crop Insurance in Jetmore, Kansas at 620-357-6390. Midwest Ag Professionals would like to also remind all the area farmers that July 15th is the last day to sign up for your annual forage policy. Don't hesitate. Call the Midwest Ag Professional team at 620-357-6390 and get the most out of your insurance dollar. Hydraulics are a big component. From tractors to excavators, from construction to farming, call the name that you should know, the Hydraulic Shop. With over 16 years of experience, Charity and the team can get your hydraulics fixed and have your equipment back up and running with minimal downtime. For all your hydraulic needs, whether it's big or small, we service them all. Call Charity and the team at 316-358-7335. That's 316-358-7335. Tires aren't all the same, and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. How one company has created a full system approach to precision agriculture, from designing equipment to developing greener biologicals in a closed delivery and with prescriptive application to help farmers reach their yield targets. That's today on Successful Farming. Get the latest ag news, markets, weather, and more when you sign up for today's news from Successful Farming. Register at agriculture.com slash newsletter for today's news. The free Successful Farming e-newsletter. Once a day, you'll get an email packed with relevant news hitting the ag industry online and around the nation, along with the three big things happening today. Visit agriculture.com slash newsletter to subscribe to today's news from Successful Farming. Check out our full lineup of Successful Farming podcasts. The Successful Farming podcast goes in-depth into the topics that affect farmers and ranchers. The 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast offers a quick conversation between an editor and a farmer. The SF Shorts podcast offers bite-sized interviews about agricultural topics. And the SF Daily podcast covers commodity markets, weather, and the big things happening in agriculture each morning. Search for Successful Farming wherever you download your podcasts. With both domestic and global experience in the agriculture industry for over 40 years, Jim Lappin, director of the AVMAC Chemical Corporation's Smart Integrated Multi-Product Prescription Application System product portfolio, says there are agronomic challenges both here and abroad. He explains how Simpass can help to manage problem areas on a farm with precision ag technology. I represent a product called Simpass. So Simpass is all about precision ag applications at plant. It allows you to take exactly what you need and put it precisely where you need it. 
could be an insecticide, a nitrogen fixer, a fungicide, um, a new biological product that helps stimulate root development. So we're building a portfolio of solutions that growers can look at their fields and say, I'm going to get the most uh, uh, return on investment for that ag at plant input that I can by only applying it where I need it most. He says that Simpass products come in both granular and liquid form and run through Simpass developed equipment in furrow. The Simpass system is a bolt-on aftermarket system that goes on a planter and has three cartridges per row. Each one of those cartridges has its own unique metering system, so I can apply any product prescriptively anywhere in the field. I can do a whole field application if that's called for. I can do variable rate micronutrients, or I can just put a product in very specific locations based on your agronomic plan. Lappin says that the interactive Simpass system can be used in diverse environmental conditions on a variety of crops. I'm Lori Boyer. For more agriculture information, log on to agriculture.com. Most hailstorms last three to five minutes. In that time, Mother Nature can deal a crushing blow to your crops, your profits, and the future of your farming operation. Remove that risk with crop hail coverage from Blue Valley Insurance. Our crop hail policies provide protection against physical damage from hail, and our wind coverage ensures a safety net in case of damaging winds and tornadoes. Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. From Kansas State University, this is Agriculture Today. I'm Shelby Varner. The Kansas Custom Rate Survey data has been compiled and sorted for people to be able to look at and compare rates for different types of custom work in agriculture. Director of the Land Use Survey Office at K-State, Leah Sudel, discusses the purpose of the survey and recaps one section of the report. What we want to do with the report is we want to provide a data source for folks looking to hire custom work done or for custom operators to compare what their rates are to what others are across the state. We survey lots of different individuals across the state and arrive at averages. And it just kind of provides a benchmark for folks if they're negotiating rates or if operators are setting their rates. Sudo explains how harvest custom rates have changed over the past few years. Now, the biggest increase in 2024 was in sorghum, and the cost of harvesting increased by about 25% for sorghum. Other thing that's important to consider when you're looking at the harvesting costs There is also an element of yield. There's a high yield threshold that we collect and then an additional rate on top of the base rate for yields that are over that threshold. Those relationships can change. For example, in sorghum, the high yield charge increased and the high yield threshold decreased. So that can be a hidden increase in there. Many things have contributed to increased prices and she says what she thinks is the biggest contributor. Cost of equipment has consistently been increasing and you see that from ownership costs and depreciation expenses and then you also see it in the cost to operate that equipment in your again fuel comes into play there. But then you also have the labor costs that are increasing and you have the uh, repairs and maintenance to that equipment have been going up. So the underlying equipment costs are driving a lot of these consistent increases in your custom rates. That was the director of the Land Use Survey Office at K-State, Leah Sudel, with information on the Kansas Custom Rates Survey data. Read more data at www.agmanager.info. I'm Shelby Varner, and this has been Agriculture Today over at the K-State Radio Network. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we don't say two birds with one stone. We say two damages with one deductible. With us, if your home and auto are both damaged in one storm, you only pay one deductible. And we should probably stop using stones for that sort of thing anyway. 
Talk to a Farm Bureau Financial Services agent about our one deductible advantage at fbfs.com slash protect. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. Good Tuesday afternoon. Sam back with your latest market information here on the Mid-America Ag Network. Well, we're starting to see some two-sided trade in the grains and the oil seeds. Wheat market is still mostly lower and nothing but green on the screen in the livestock. August live cattle up 75 at 185.02. October live up 115 at 185.30. Leading the charge today is the feeder cattle markets, especially the August contract now up 367 to 261.07. September to 261.22. That's up 327. And higher for the hogs as well. July lean hogs up 27 cents to 89. 47 August up 135 to 8952. Into the grains and oil seeds now again as mentioned corn starting to see some more two-sided trade. July corn up 2 and 3 quarters at 401. September to 407 and 3 quarters. That's 3 quarters and higher but again some weakness in the later months. The wheat market has been volatile all day today. July Kansas City wheat back down to 592 a bushel. That's 10 and 3 quarters lower. September 8 and a half down. That's at 591 and the oats market is weaker. July oats down 3 to 313. Into the soybeans again starting to see some two-sided trade but still higher for july and august july soybeans up four and three quarters to 1164 and a quarter august up three and a half at 1149 and a half july soy meal up 260 to 36830 and soy oil up 75 points at 4658 cotton though is lower december cotton down 39 at 7271 taking a stroll down wall street now we see the s&p slightly higher as powell notes inflation progress and tesla is on the rise currently up 12 at 5046 nasdaq also 88 points higher to 17966 and the Dow Jones is a bit weaker, down 10 points at 39,160. Energy markets has crude oil down a dime at 83.28 a barrel. Unleaded gas is mostly unchanged, but a half a cent higher to 258 a gallon. Heating oil up two to 264, and natural gas down five at 242. August gold's down 680 at 23.32.10. July silver's up six cents at 29.36 per ounce, and the dollar index for September is still down 10 points at 105.48. Midwest Kia will be open to serve you July 4th. This week, only July 1st through the 6th. And while supplies last, drive off in style with a free pair of Oakley sunglasses during our Kia Summer Sticker Sales event. That's right. No matter which new Kia you purchase, you'll drive off the lot in style with a free pair of Oakley sunglasses. Take advantage of interest rates as low as 0% APR on our EV models and 1.9% APR on all new Kias on our lot. Or save up to 10000 off MSRP on the North American SUV of the year, the Kia EV9. Every new Kia comes with our 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Celebrate this 4th of July with explosive savings. Purchase a new vehicle this week and enjoy a free pair of Oakley sunglasses during our Kia Summer Sticker Sales Event. Free Oakleys plus a simple, transparent, and fast, better way to buy your next vehicle. Visit Midwest Kia on 4th of July or MidwestKia.com. And remember, we want to see you. $21.65 per thousand finance. Professional Barber Stylists honors all the men and women who have served in the United States military. This Independence Day, let's take time out from the barbecues and family reunions to recognize all those who lost their lives in service to America. From Professional Barber Stylists in Beatrice, haircuts that are affordable. Cook Welding and Repair honors the sacrifices of past and present military personnel. So many made the ultimate sacrifice to protect the rights and freedoms of Americans. Please take a moment to remember these brave men and women and their families. From Cook Welding and Repair in Baileyville, proud to support the military. From ABC News, Wall Street Now. Fed Chair Jerome Powell expressed satisfaction this morning that the economy has made progress on inflation. At the same time, he told a central banking forum in Portugal that he'd like to see inflation sustainably at 2% before recommending interest rate cuts. Powell's comments were enough to rally the S&P by a tenth of a percent and the Nasdaq Composite by a quarter percent this morning. The Dow Jones, though, headed into the midday slightly lower from this morning's opening. General Motors this morning reported its best quarterly sales in more than three years. GM sold nearly 700,000 vehicles in the second quarter of the year, with notable gains in full-size pickup trucks and electric vehicles. The company behind the Redbox DVD rental kiosks outside grocery stores and pharmacies has filed for bankruptcy. Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment acquired Redbox two years ago. The publisher of the popular book by that title is not a part of the bankruptcy. Jim Ryan, ABC News. Summer heat got you fired up? Stop by Twin Rivers, Chrysler, Deep Dodge, and Beatrice 
and cool down with amazing deals on new and used vehicles. Twin Rivers has incentives and rebates on almost all new vehicles in stock, and they've slashed prices on the whole used lot. Something for everyone at Twin Rivers Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Beatrice. Stop in anytime on West Court Street or go online anytime to TwinRiv.com. Twin Rivers Chrysler Jeep Dodge Beatrice. <laughs> 